tell you what, <laughs> it's like that lady knew. I was going to do my intro in this bus shelter as I'm waiting for the bus. And then she was standing right here, so I didn't want to, like, you know, be blabbering right in front of her. And then she just looked at me and was like, you know what, I think I'm going to walk. So, thank you. Anyway, today, um, for fun, going to go on a little excursion to Mount Tabor, which is... I mean, you can't really see it, it's over there. You gotta look through all those trees. And if you're a local Portland resident, you're probably like, Mount Tabor, come on, give me a break. Everyone's been to freaking Mount Tabor. Well, it's important to remember I'm doing these videos for YouTube, which means 99.99999% of my potential audience has probably never been to Oregon, much less Portland. They're not gonna know what Mount Tabor is. They're not gonna know Mount Tabor from a thumbtack. So, you know, I target these videos towards everyone. Uh, not going to do too much adventuring. It's a very, you know, public park. There's going to be a lot of people there, but there's just some cool things to see there as well as, I'll save it for the end, a beautiful view of downtown Portland. Uh, oh, wait, I'm freaking dumb. There's Mount Tabor right, right there, that, that lump right there. So never mind, I was way off. So, just got off the bus and dropped my bag with food in it. And of course, my rock star took the brunt of the impact. We're gonna see what'll happen when I try to open it. Oh no! Yeah, I think it's okay. This is kinda one of those sneaky little back door entrances. I mean, it's pretty well marked, but. Usually a lot of people drive up, come in at different angles. One of the cool things about Mount Tabor, even the restrooms are really cool looking. Like it's almost like from a distance I thought this was an abandoned house. I'm like in the middle of the park, nah. Like this may have been a building or a house at some time. Totally looks like it might have been. That is the most frightening urinal I've ever seen. And of course I have to go to the bathroom, so convenient there's a restroom here, right? Wrong. We got a classic old school park here. No freaking door, no privacy. You know, the more I look around this place, the more I think this probably always has actually been a restroom because I'm seeing some rustic things in here. So you walk a little past that restroom and you just see this string of park benches here. And you may be inclined to be like, why? The best part of the park's way over here. Like, this is kind of by itself. What does this area have to offer? Maybe it's this. <laughs> Flawless, beautiful view of the mountain. And if you look closely enough, it's kind of over here. I don't know if it's showing up. There's a plane flying over it. But yeah. Big, brilliant view of East Portland with the mountain in the distance. Who wouldn't want to enjoy a bag lunch to something like that? Cheers, mountain. Don't blow up soon. We don't want to die. Just posting a little something something on my Instagram, <laughs> documenting my view. If you're not following me on Instagram, I am all lowercase, Oregon Explorer 85. Ah, I can't see it anymore. And check it out. I'm posting stuff consistently, plethora of pictures from my various places I visited. What a lot of people don't realize, especially obviously those who don't live around here, Mount Tabor right here is only a dormant volcano. It's actually still potentially active and we're all really kind of hoping that it stays in its dormant state because we're right smack in the middle of Portland. If this thing blows its top, we're all screwed. <laughs> I need not boast about how beautiful this place is. I've just been on the outskirts, but now, going dead into it. Look at that. 
And I actually didn't know till right now that this body was here. Because you go up over the hill here, and there's actually a bigger body of water. And this is that building we saw earlier. I hope there's nobody in here. I don't want to scare them. There's just some interesting artifacts. Look at this, babe. But yeah, otherwise mostly empty in here. Moving on. So you look, there's the little baby reservoir we were just at. And if you turn around the corner here, here is the big one. There's some park space. This is a lot nicer than it used to be. And the first audition I ever gave for a movie, I met a girl that was sitting right where those people are by that tree. Didn't go well. I knew nothing of making film at the time. She thought I was insane. I've decided to take the most treacherous trail to get to where I'm going. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, okay, here we go. A real trail. Hallelujah. Coming out at the base of the trail. Oh, that school's a leaper. Here we are, overlooking the main reservoir. Another one of those cool old buildings there. And then this building over here, I've never seen this one. But, ooh, that breeze feels nice. Here's another one of these really awesome reservoir buildings. Very commonplace the Portland area, but one of the main things that brings people here is this. And more reservoir. I forgot there's another one down there too. But the view of the big city. Yeah, I keep forgetting because I'm usually just on the upper part up here or the lower part down there. I keep forgetting there's two of these big ones. And of course, one thing we absolutely have to see is the volcanic portion, which actually it's here. You can go up to it. It's part of the attraction here. And I, despite the number of times I've been here, to my memory, I've never actually gone up to that part. So that's where I'm heading right now. This is pretty cool. I'm assuming it has something to do with the reservoir, but it's old rusted out post of some kind. Oh my god, I'm so out of shape. Why? Now we're in the slightly more civilized part of the park. Now from what I understand, there's an amphitheater in this realm. I seriously feel like I'm five seconds from falling directly backwards. I seriously don't know where I'm going. So you'll excuse me if I need to sit down for a second. They built an amphitheater on the crater? This can't be right. Who builds an amphitheater on top of a crater of a dormant volcano? Psychopaths. I don't know where I'm at. This is, I've never seen this part of the park. It's almost impossible to get up here. Crazy. This is kind of cool. 
I'm sorry, I'm still trying to wrap my brain around the fact that they put an amphitheater in a volcano crater. But yeah, see, way up there, it looks like this just snapped off and landed here. This is huge. So now I'm back, you know, along the amphitheater. And yeah, like, look at these walls here. Like, see, this totally looks crater interior. It's the only part of the park that looks like it's the inside of the crater. Check out this little cave here. This is all like very old, ancient, exposed. <laughs> 